is one of the best views in London. You can see behind me is the east of this bridge and you have the city skyscrapers. And to the west of this bridge, you have the Parliament and London Eye. This is the longest bridge in London at 70 meters in length. So this version of Waterloo Bridge is the second version. The first was originally built in the 19th century and the second, this current version, it was built during World War II. First by the men and then largely by the women as the men would go on to fight in the World War II. This bridge was first called the Strand Bridge but then it later got changed to Waterloo Bridge and there's Waterloo Station at the end of this bridge, the south section. This location here is past the end point of the south section of the bridge, which leads to Waterloo Station, one of the UK's busiest railway stations. This is the Waterloo Victory Arch, and this is the main entrance to Waterloo Station. This memorial was made for the hundreds of train line workers at this station who served Great Britain during the Great War. This bridge also suffered damage in World War II. The trajectory of the bridge is north to south and vice versa. The north section of the bridge you will enter central London and the south section of the bridge you will enter south London. After the north part of the bridge, there is a short street and this is called Lancaster Place. This is very important for knowledge students, those who desire to become a taxi driver. Another great viewpoint of this bridge can be seen from the Wellington pub on one of the upper level floors, which I've also experienced. Waterloo Bridge also goes over a main road which is called Victoria Embankment. Standing on the bridge you can also get great views of the South Bank. This is the view at night time. I also do tours at night where you can see London's iconic attractions displayed illuminated. Visit my website www.taxitoursoflondon.com